Uh, hello all, uh, I am Maha Muhammad from uh, UAE University. I am a chemical engineer. Uh, today I will go uh, give a small tutorial about using uh, Simulink uh, as an application or a support in solving examples about process modeling and simulation. Uh, the example uh, is about the batch uh, reactor. We will solve about series reaction. We have uh, A. A will, will react in a batch system for B. B will, will, will play a role like an intermediate. Then it will produce C as following in the in this equation a goes to b and from b we will get c for this equation we have two red constant k1 and k2 k1 it will re, uh, it will play a role in reactant a and reactant b while k2 will react with b and c obviously b will have two equations and we will join them in one because once it will play like a product then it will be like a reactant so if we will do modeling uh, for the species rate uh, n minus rate out plus or minus generation equal accumulation for reactant a the change with time will be minus K1 multiplied by the initial concentration of CA minus because it's re reactant. So minus K1 multiplied by the initial concentration of C1. While the change of the species B, DCB by DT will be K1 multiplied CA because now it's a product in the first case. Minus K2 multiplied by CB because now it's a reactant to give C. So the change in C will be K2 multiplied by CB because now it's positive because it's a product. Now, if we want to solve this example by simulating, assuming that we have this initial concentration or initial condition for the problem statement. If we have the initial concentration of A at time equal zero, we have one mole per meter cube. This is the molar concentration, as you can see here. Because first we have only C, uh, species A, we have one mole. While for B and C at time zero, we have zero concentration because we have product B and C during the reaction, not at the beginning of the reaction and we have the value for k1 equal 1 per second or per minute and k2 equal 2 per second now if we want to go to simulink as uh, uh, you know that uh, simulink is part of MATLAB uh, MATLAB uh, software uh, I have the version of uh, 2008 uh, if we want to open a new tab, we just click on this icon. It will be, it will uh, uh, appear the Simulink uh, window. Now we will click on new new a new model to to write our model. Now we have uh, this libraries. We have uh, different uh, categories. We have continuous and commonly used blocks. We usually use commonly used the blocks because we have the, mon, uh, the, uh, the most common uh, icons that we use. Because we have in our example that we have differential uh, derivative, derivative here, so we need to use an icon which is integrator. Integrator, this one. We can make the, the font bigger in order that to see it clearly. In our case, we have three model. We have three derivative for A and B and C. So we will need three icons, A, B, C, or three integrators. 
this is A we can rename it A and we have B and we have C to change the initial condition for the integrator only double click for each icon for A we have the initial condition at time 0 equal 1 so we will change here and make it 1 while for B and C we have at time 0 will remain 0 as you can see here I will make it bigger then the question only told us to plot the concentration for A, B, and C and how it decreases or increases with time. So we have to use th something called scoop, this icon. Scoop will be used after we run the program from this arrow. We can see how the graph will be shown. This is the scoop. Then let, let us write the model for the equation I will remind you with the equation that we have to plot this equation we have to simulate or simulate these three equations in order to, to see how the concentration of A, B and C change it with time so let's start the connection we have the sum icon we need it for the B species here and we have again which mean the product here we are again we have for K K1 and K2 and in our case this is if we rename it with K1 which uh, will be connected to A, K1, and its initial value will be 1. We will make it 1. And we have also from B will be also multiplied by K1 because this is also 1, and we will rename it also K1 with the initial condition of 1 and then we will connect B with K1 here ok and we have also K2 will be connected to B as well this is will be K2 which initial value equal to obviously we assume here isothermal process because if it's non-isothermal K will be function of temperature so we assume it to be isothermal in order to make it constant to make it easier and we have 4C also the initial condition for K2 will be 2 and this is also K2 now we will connect them all here we are we will have a max in order to show a graph for three species A, B and C we can make it bigger here We connect it for the scoop. Okay. And 
from here we have to connect with k1 which is multi multiplied by k1 will be multiplied with with a species and from here also we will have a connection and for b because we have two equations or two parameters we will have this icon which will sum sum the first one for k1 because it will be a product will be positive and for k2 will be negative because it will be as a reactant okay so we will have a connection from here okay and from here we will have plus and minus from here with, with k2 And then by rearranging these icons and make it clear, we will have this figure as you as shown here. We have a connection from K1 to A, and K1 also will be multiplied by K, by K1 with A, and it will be subtract from uh, k2 with b and also for c2 we have k2 multiplied by b integrator and as shown i change the color and now let's see when we run the program and double click for the scoop we have this figure this is the yellow one for A because it start with uh, with one mole per meter cube and start then to decrease with time then for B we have it start to increase when it's when A reactant then start to decrease again because it will react to give C the green line here as shown until it reach uh, the concentration of one which means that CA is totally consumed and the reaction is irreversible that all reactant react and give the C product uh, hope this uh, tutorial help you with the simulink and uh, best of luck thank you